This is the MicroGuard model SS light curtain and I'm going to show you how to hook it up. What you see right in front of you is what comes with the standard model SS light curtain. This is the optional part, terminal strip and two safety relays. We wire the SS according to the manual, page A11, for hookup with an EDM, external device monitor. In front of you, you see two safety relays and a terminal strip labeled one through eight, just like it says on page A11 in the book. The both reds go to terminal one, both black blacks go to terminal two, both whites go to terminal three, both greens go to terminal four, blue goes to terminal five, brown to terminal six, orange to terminal seven, and pink to terminal eight. The next step is to wire the two safety relays to the terminal strip. All right, according to page 11, the terminals A1 on both relays get wired together and then over to ground, which is terminal two. One of the safety relays, the A2 terminal, gets wired over to the blue wire, which is terminal 5. A2 of the other safety relay gets wired up. Six. Okay, now we attach, connect the EDM feature which basically is terminal 7 of one of the safety relays. Terminal 11 of the other safety relay goes back to ground. Now we need a wire to go from 11 to 12 on the, between the two safety relays. We now have the orange wire, terminal 7, passing through the normally closed contact of both safety relays in series and back to ground. Now you would hook up your stop circuit to the extra terminals on both of the safety relays following the OSHA ANSI guidelines. The last step I have to do here is to hook up a power supply, 24 volt supply, to the terminal strip. Terminal 1 for our plus 24, and ground, terminal 2. Now before we put power to it, we attach each cable, the conductor cable going to the receiver. The four conductor going to the emitter, and you can't mess it up, they don't, they don't plug into one another. You line your curtains up. Plug your power source in. The curtains go through and through a power up sequence, and uh, if they're lined up and not blocked, they will go green. All right, we're gonna go through the power up sequence. All right, the emitter in this demonstration is on our left. The receiver is on our right. There are three LEDs on each one. We are running in EDM mode, external device monitoring. <clears throat> so we're monitoring external mechanical relays in this case. When we plug it in, the unit will go through a specific power-up test. 
All right, here we go. We're going to turn it on. And the yellow and the green on each pound are going to flash. You get one yellow green, at, and then you're going to get two, and then you're going to get just the green flashing three. And what that means is the, the first flash indicates everything is good inside each pylon itself. The two flashes that you see, yellow and green, on either pylon indicate the two computers inside each pylon are talking to each other. And then the three green flashes at the very end represents the data network between the two pylons is connected. That's the white and green wire. If you were to disconnect the white and green wire, you go into a bottom beam sync mode rather than a sync through the data network. This allows you to free up the emitter pylon, power it from another source, and connect it at a different point. It doesn't have to go back to your control panel. The only downside is you cannot run blanking and block the bottom beam at any time. Otherwise, you lose your blanking. If we block the curtain, the unit goes red. You can hear the relays clicking, and the power's off. Okay, now we're going to operate the light curtain in a different mode where we disconnect the white and the green wires. We sync using the bottom beam of the pylons. The only downside is when you're operating in any kind of blanking mode, you cannot block the bottom beam. Okay, the power-up sequence is slightly different, so here we go. You get a yellow and green flash, and then you get the two yellow and green flashes, and then instead of three green at the end, you get two green. Now you get a solid yellow on the emitter pylon with a flashing red every once in a while, and then the receiver side is actually giving you the status, whether it's blocked or not. Now that is a slightly different light configuration on the receiver side. It's green when it's not blocked, it gets bright red when you're blocking it, and if the sync beam, the last beam, is blocked, it gets a dim red. So you get dim red when you're blocking the bottom beam, bright red when you're blocking any of the other beams. You take your hand out, unit goes back green. The emitter side stays yellow with that blinking red just to let you know that it's alive and operating. This allows you to free up the emitter side now the emitter side can be powered from a different power source instead of together with the receiver side. To contact Pinnacle Systems, Inc., you can call toll-free at 1-800-569-7697 or in Canada, call toll-free at 888-285-8885.